Welcome to this week's edition of What a Horse, and you're here. Yes, yes, sir. I'm here. We're well, on the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 he's got it made. All right. Well, we're we're gonna fly through this because we got a lot of video. Yep. So you can do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> It's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> I want to remind everybody to stop by the Winter Circle. They got some great deals, bridles, headbands. Yes. I mean, they're putting some stuff out there big time. Now's a good time to get it. All right, here's the announcements. This Saturday night, June the 10th, Shelby, Tennessee, in the uh, Champions Arena, we've got the Cancer Show, and that's for Bedford County. That's a that's a great show to attend because it helps everybody in Bedford County that's got a problem with cancer. You can call Connie Allen at 931-684-5915. Show starts at 5 p.m. and Jordan Caldell will be doing the uh, judging. Cumberland County is same night, Crossville, Tennessee. You can get in touch with Bradley Bottoms, 931-248-2250. Start time is 6 p.m. Mike Hilly is judging. The 16th, 
got Belfast Lions Club. Contact Nancy Lynn, 931-993-3187. Start time is 530. And Joseph Goldman is judging that show. And, the, and Saturday night is uh, the Arab Summer Classic. Contact Jamie Bradshaw at 256-679-0013. Start time is 5. And John Allen Callaway will mark the cards. Then at the end of the month, June 23rd and 24th, Shelbyville, located Bedford Ag Center, will be Walking for Angels. Contact Julie Graham, 931-619-2520. Did I get all that in? You got it all Boy, in. You done, I'll tell you what, you done a, a wonderful job. <laughs> I, right I tried my best. That's, that's a I'm like you've done that before. Say. I tried. <clears throat> Believe me. I'll tell you what. I was tickled with the show this Oh, morning. yeah, I was, too. I was. It is. Is it, it, here's what tickles me. We had more horses Friday and Saturday night than we had Thursday. Yeah. The USDA was there Friday and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Thursday, we had 103. Friday, we had 144. Saturday, 137. And that's 384 horses total. Yeah. But the majority of them showed in front of the USDA. Yeah. So that's... And I want to ask you a question. You've seen the protesters, right? Yes. Did you know they had a horse showing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they did that because, and, and here's the good part about it. They they saw what we went through to show. They got a taste of it. And they, they was back there videoing, so they know how hard it is to get a horse in the ring. Maybe they've seen the light because they didn't show up Saturday. No. I mean... There's a, there's a reason. Why didn't they show up Saturday? I mean, that that's a big that's, day. You're and, right. And we had a big crowd, bunch of horses. But I, I think they finally realized that a lot of the BS from Clint C. Oh, yeah. Was just that. It, it just wasn't true. So, all right, you've seen all the classes. What do you think? They had some real good classes there. Some real good horses. I mean, I, I was very impressed of it. I mean, they, they was tough. The it tough was. classes. We had one other thing though, Jerry. Uh, the uh, the judge has granted the extension for the USDA uh -huh. before they have to think because they are going to pull the 2017 rule. They're going to pull it. They 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 guaranteed they're going to pull it. But they're going to use the the science information from the Academy of Science uh, to help decide what the new scholar rules and stuff like this yeah. would be. That and, and a lot of people they need to realize what that means because the scholar rule is it is now they they just said it was unenforceable anyway. So we have to really watch. And I know most of the violations this past weekend were uh, rubs. And yeah. That's something, in all honesty, how are we going to stop it? I mean, that's what <laughs> because the horse don't have it, he gets it after he shows, you know, know. what I'm talking about. And I mean, that's the thing. You, you don't know when they go out there and they can't say, well, that's because you train them to do that. Well, that, no. We showed video too many times of, of, winglings and babies walk in the same way but the the horse protection act says intentional and riding your horse you don't intentionally get a rub well, on yeah. foot so well i mean some of that can be to stop the rub you have to be able to give something that's from a veterinarian or whatever that's you can put on that horse to stop him from rubbing so mm -hmm. if you're going to show him so mm -hmm. i mean that's something they might need to look into yeah. When they go to doing the rule, you know what I'm talking about. Well, it, it, it because it you can't be. have nothing on that horse's feet when you get ready to check him or show him at all. I know. So I mean, but if you had something that was a that was granted from the from a veterinarian or you know something that was you know that they can have that to stop the horse from rubbing, or you can put on the horse to stop him from rubbing in the show ring, then that might be something that they might can look at because the horse like after they get through showing, and that's when they rub because they don't have a rub on before they go in there. I know. They get it while they're in And there. it all depends on some horses, the way that they go and they travel. 
and everything and the, and the way the rings are or whatever and they you know pull on their back feet or, or whatever so that's how they get the rubs yeah well that's going to be called a a foreign substance no matter how you look yeah. at it and, and see that's a problem too so I, I don't know what the answer is i know they say we'll wrap them i don't know that wrapping them is going to 100 percent solve that problem Probably, yeah that's uh, right you, you just can't ever tell it. It's something that we don't know for sure. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go watch some tennis show VPs that we ran and go back over them. And then we're going to start into some fun show. And then we'll go on into Columbia. Yeah. Because Columbia, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm still tore up about the Columbia. Oh, yeah, Columbia show was a real good show. All right, let's see some VPs. The silver lining in Piper T. Headed down victory lane tonight as our I tell you, that's a, winner. I tell you what, good little team, team right there. It is a real good team. I mean, you judge that the way it's supposed to be judged. You know, that whole, she's very equitation. She sits up in the saddle, holding the hand just right. She does. You know. I, I like the idea because she is steadfast. I mean, she sits there. Just, I think it's 12 to 24 inches that you hold the yeah. rein. But... Once she parked that horse out, he stayed parked out. I mean, it looked good. You didn't have to look with him anymore. It looked Let's real good. Look at our youth show to John O. And Daniel John Smith. Daniel Smith. Larry and Elsie West. West. Show Pleasure Youth Winner. I like the way he sets the out. I do too. And I tell you what, that Show Pleasure Youth class is a <laughs> tough class now. <laughs> I mean, all them classes now are getting tough. These youth classes are getting a lot tougher than the adult class. Oh, yes. I can tell you that. Well, everybody yeah. buying the kid a horse that can compete. Well, there's more competition yes. in there. They're buying them good uh, lesson horses, too. Yeah. I know Beth Beasley bought her girls a lesson horse and ended up showing him and winning a bunch of blues. Yes. Shut up and deal. And Debbie Eichler from Rising Star Rancher, amateur three-year-old stallion reserve winner. I thought she made an excellent show. She made a good show. Anybody out there got a deal for real, code call Debbie. She can pick a name out for you. <laughs> you got it, buddy. She does have some names. Yep. And she could pop them off the top of her head. The other day she told you one know, that was off the top of her head there. Shut up and deal. <laughs> Debbie Eichler up for the Rising Star Ranch of Shelbyville. Debbie Eichler and Shut Up and Deal. A blue ribbon salute tonight. Prime time player, for prime Knox time Blackford player. for Kimberly and Perry Walden. Three-year-old stallion Ryder Cup winner. Ride Tell you what, Kimberly and Perry, I, I, I felt bad about their barn burning, but... They, they strong. I, I tell you what, those are two good ones right oh, there. Oh, yeah. That's a nice horse. Yes, he is. Calling out the class number 23, amateur rider. Second award of the class. Right here, Young Jackson and Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith is up for Larry West, West family. 1700 reserve winner. This is another class that's getting. Every one of these youth classes is, yes. is getting stouter and stouter. to 795 young jackson daniel smith is up for elsie west of fayetteville young jackson and daniel i do smith, like the way that gets yes the horse down let's this. take another look at our blue right here's cerveza here's cerveza jerry beatty with jerry beatty he took a toast Maybe there the four-year-old rider cup winner i to have a beer on me shelbyville <laughs> jerry beatty and cerveza Next thing you know, uh, Debbie would be naming one of them horses after a wine. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I don't even think they drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> they they no. have a wine, glass of wine. I'm going to ask her if she's going to call one wine over. Wine over. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. Now we had the fun show. Fun show was good. And inspections there were pretty good. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm hoping that we're in for the rest of the year in good situation. Yes. That's what I'm hoping. I hope so too. Right there, 
Jimmer's Country Girl and Carol Baxter. I tell you what, that lady has got some horses, buddy. She got some good ones. Yeah, real good ones. And I tell you, she been around and know what a real good horse is. She does, yes. <clears throat> she knows what's out there, she knows what's good, she knows what's not. But now, tell me she can't sell a cell. Oh, yes. She's a real nice lady, too. We interviewed her down in Alabama. Real nice lady. It's a pleasure to talk to. Right here, Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford. Amateur English Country Pleasure winner. i tell you what right there now. Watching a horse like that, that that's... That gets me excited. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was that one a bunch. Oh, yeah. Here's Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald. Or Robin and Bruce McDonald. The classic horse. I tell you, every time I look at him, I think of a classic chess set. Yeah. That is one good horse. Automatic. That's who he is, Mr. Automatic. We got several of those horses in our industry but he's a perfect one first night out youth country pleasure reserve winner and Ali joe jacobs that's a nice horse there too it is a lot of people boy they get behind these second third and fourth place horses more than they do the winner oh, yeah. in some of these but classes you know what's amazing Ali Jo, being as young as she, she is, she can transfer herself from being on a pleasure horse to a painted mm -hmm. horse, equitation. Yep. I mean, that, that takes a lot of talent. But she pays attention to everything. Here we are, me and Pocahontas and Tyler Malcolm for Allison Armstrong. Sure. Walking Marion Guild and Ryder Cup winner. That was, she was reserved. She was yeah. reserved in that class. Jose's King of Queens and Summer Brooks for Dwight Brooks. Tell you what, that's a nice two-year-old right there, yeah. Buzz. Mm -hmm. Real nice two-year-old. And that was a tough class. Oh, yeah. A real tough. tough class. Yeah. She reserving that. Yep. Right there's the Dixie label. 12 to 17 in Chloe McSwain. Okay, what Chloe made two exceptionally yeah. good shows. No, she really did. Made two outstanding shows. Getting it done, buddy. And she's I another one that sets a good speed. Oh yeah, she does. Right here's the black listener, Summer Brooks. Tell you what, she come in there for it and, oh, yeah. and put on a whopping good show. Oh, the wife just strutting around like a peacock <laughs> now. She did. She did outstanding. Made a good show. I asked a while ago if, if you retired from showing. I had to tell them that your son took all the horses <laughs> away from you. Right here is Black Gen Scout and Megan Hammond. Hammond for Shamrock Farms, your amateur five-year-old stag. That's a nice horse. Real nice. <clears throat> what, she, she got off of Epic and got on that one and just kept going. Oh, yeah. Mike says that horse got a lot more to give. I'll tell you what, he's giving a whole lot right there because I yeah. like it. I like that walk. He's, his timing is perfect. Here's Forma Line. Here's Carol Baxter again. I'll tell you what, she's got a good string of horses. Oh, yeah, she do got a good string of horses.
Look at that head. Oh, yeah. It's shaking and walking and shaking right there. That's what it takes. The old timers just say if they ain't shaking, they ain't walking. That's it. That head ain't shaking, they ain't walking. But now that right there That's gets it saying. done. And I mean gets it done. He's shaking it. Going to town. Joe Pa. Now he was reserved in his class. I'm going to yeah. tell you, Joe Pa is showing two weeks in a row, and, and he just seems that he is locked in in a gear right now that to me is perfect gear. Oh, yeah. Head shake, walk, reach, stepping. He just seems to do it, everything just right. And here's I'm Charlie Black, CFF, Dahlia Smith Har. You know, Kenny and them train that whole Okay. Time. Sure do. They oh, do. I tell you, Kenny and Dahlia, I mean, he's, they've been training they've been trained for a long time, for a long time, and come up with some good ones. And they're amateurs. Yep. But now she is veterinary, so she yeah. knows a lot about horses. Yeah. Well, before she turned to be a bitch, she knew a lot about horses. And she was, <laughs> she, she, knew, was she knew a lot about them before she became a vet. Yeah, she knew a lot about it before. Look here, Cole Hahn and Allie Joe. That's a good horse there too. I, I tell you, that horse so easy and does it so easy. Walks I know. and shakes. Tell you what, we got a lot, a lot of lemon under good horses. Yeah. Right there, it's the medalist and Eli Cunningham. Tell you what, ain't nothing wrong with that no. one right there. That, that young man can plat ride oh, too. Yeah. Excuse me. He does it's a real good be, job. It's going to be interesting come celebration time. Yeah. Because you got a lot of good gildings. Uh huh. Blue ribbon in our amateur mares and gilding class will go to entry number 484. Boy, I was glad to see her back. Yep. And I love that mare. Yeah. She's a nice mare. Just sets and walks. Over on the east side is where you'll find our Blue Ribbon winner tonight in the Amateur Mayor's Gilding class. He's limitless. Oh, there's, we've got a lot of good mares. Oh, yeah. Here too. I was looking at them up there at Columbia. Molly has a good time. Oh, yeah. Here's your you show pleasure. And his line with Cash and Chloe McSwain. Over on the east side, you'll find our you show pleasure winner tonight. Getting it done. That young lady has a ball. Oh, yeah. She comes to town. And Keith struts around. You know, <laughs> that's my girl. Yep. And here's a Jen to win and Kendra Myers for Sherry Roberts. Kendra Myers rides for the Harold Roberts family. That was a real nice horse now, I tell you. Hey, tell me. Harold Roberts picked that horse out and he knew what he was picking out when he got it. Yeah. Now there's a lady that can flat ride. Oh yeah. Get it done. Right here, Switchblade and Allie Joe Jacobs. She put it out there, didn't oh, yeah. she? 
You watch her, she's getting better and better and better yeah. for that horse. Jake told me, he said, hey, we want her in the ring ride him to where she gets better used to him. Yeah. Get better showing him. Right here was the ultimate honor in Jack Harney for Justin Harney. You pony winner. That's a nice horse right there. It is. That young man can ride. Oh, yeah. I like where he wears that hat. <laughs> Gets it, it done, gets it done, buddy. done now, I tell you. That's another class that's oh, going to yeah. be wide open come celebration time. And here's a mighty Jose and Tanner Burks. He made an outstanding yeah, show. Yeah, he did. That was a good yeah, class there, too. Yes, it was. Yeah. Tanner does a good job. Yes. All right, that concludes the fun show. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have to let you make a living. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports, they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're getting ready to do some more. We, we was, I was laughing from the guy because I told Jerry, I said, People ask you what your job is, and he said, all I got to do is say, we're going to go to these messages, period. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they don't know that sometimes you have to clean stalls. stalls that's right. You have to uh, clip hair. hair. You've got to, and, and then you got to fuss on your crew. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, Jeremy, he, he takes all the 
the back lip now because you make him ride a ball. Like, you, you, you go ride the horse. I'll tell you if you're doing it right or not. I'm going to ride him. All right, let's go to Columbia Thursday night. You show pleasure class. Tell me about it. This one was a good one. Oh, yeah, it was a good one. It was. That was a real good class. <coughs> Bunch of good horses. Oh, yeah. It. Good horses. But I'm going to tell you, that was one of the. Ellie Joe, just in all honesty, she just performed unbelievably. She did. Yeah, she really did. That, she rode that horse the entire time and got it done. Coach, I'm Coach Cal, and Ellie Joe took the blue. Title sweepstakes and Harper Grider was reserved. They call me Samson, Cohen Abernathy. Ill predicted storm, John Winston Clark. Nico Moon, Mason Taylor. Watch the line, Mickey McCormick. Now that wasn't Mickey McCormick on there. I'm Jose Jr. Corbin Parker and national hero Dylan Jackson finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna say, I kept watching and, and look at her on the rail. Oh yeah. Buddy, she is flat riding. That was a nice class. Yes, it was. Real nice class. Oh, yeah. They want watch these kids ride and they knowing they're only going to get better. Yeah, that's right. Look at her. Yeah. Alan Joe was flat riding. I know how to say that. She, she rode her heart. That little rider girl did too. Yeah. First time blue ribbon, 201. I'm Coach Cal. There she is. Jacob, she's on the ride of Murphy's Club. Allie Joe Jacobs and I'm Coach Carol for the Blues. You can tell she was getting excited because oh, yeah. during her victory pass, she wanted to get a little quick. <laughs> but buddy, you now she did. She put yeah. on a show. Oh, that's a good horse right there. Yeah, he is. Jamie's got that oh, horse right, right where he needs to be. Jacobs. She's the owner and rider from Murfreesboro on I'm Coach Carol 201, her number. Give her a nice round of applause as she leaves this show ready. Allie Joe Jacobs, Murfreesboro, Blue Ribbon winner on I'm Coach Cal. Put them on the Ryder Cup three-year-old stage. This was a class. I mean a good class. A mighty gin was the unanimous first place tie in this. Burbank, Tyler Balkum was reserved. Sweet Black Gin, Ryan Blackburn. I'm Doc Holliday, R.M. Kelly. Jose Silver Legend, Dan Waddell. The Crosstown Rival, Chad Way. Gosh Almighty, I like that name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Justin Legate. And Top Gun Maverick, Bill Calloway finished out the ribbon. I'm going to tell you, a gin almighty, a mighty gin, whatever you want. Yeah. And Jimmy McConnell. You could tell when he come in that he was, he had that air about him. Yeah. That he knew he was on a good horse. But that, that class was loaded. Oh yeah, that was a loaded class. Those are the ones you don't mind sitting and talking about. Yeah. And watching, because I mean, you just, right, plus right. they were full. That was another thing. The classes were full. They get the seat call on your three-year-old stagers and show them to run them all and let them all go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. 
I like to watch these shows when they have a when they have a multi bunch of horses that's in the class, you know what I'm talking about? And a bunch of good horses. You can sit there and try to compare them and then you really realize that all of our horses have a different way of going. Oh, really. yeah. They they've got just they're they're smooth, they're it's just it's hard to explain. You have to sit and watch yeah. it to really understand it. But you know, I'll tell you something else. Each trainer have their own way of training a horse, too. Yep, they do. And that horse that goes, goes that way that the trainer trains. Well, they have a different way of setting a horse. Yeah. Every one of them. I mean, and, and then you'll see some of them with their head motion, the way they hold their feet, the way they lean over or lean back, cock their head to one side. Well, I mean, if you right look there, at a horse. They went to the same store yeah. and bought the same hat. Uh-huh. I wasn't able to talk because they said everybody wants to know where Raleigh Beard Beer got that hat. Yeah. <laughs> but Raleigh's the only one that can keep that off like that, wear the hat like that in the show ring. Raleigh Beard. Raleigh Beard, the one that can do it. It wouldn't look good on nobody else but Raleigh Beard. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I watch these horses and I watch the riders. And there's a there was a lot of talent. Oh yeah, a lot. All right, riders, take that BC car on your three year old stallions and show them the running balls, let them all go. Bobby Sands getting it done, wasn't he? Oh yeah. Pick you out a favorite horse and rider, let them hear from me. Get it, mighty Jet. I talked to Mike and he Mike said the best part about it was it was unanimous. He said that's what makes it fair. Oh yeah. And it is. When all three judges say, yep, that's the one, that makes you feel good. Remember a friend of mine one time, they didn't tie his horse unanimous and it kind of upset. And I told him, I said, well, it, it, he broke in front of this judge. That judge had tied you down. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He said, no. And I said, yeah. Look at the video. <laughs> Tell the truth. All right. We're going to go to Friday night. Fr Friday night. They had more horses Friday night than any night. Yes. They had 144 horses. And that was with the government there. That's what I want to emphasize to everybody. That the, the trainers said, come on. But right here. I want everybody to look at this and tell me what's different about this flag horse. Think about it. Oh, I, I can see what's different about it. Ain't got no bridle. Ain't got no bridle. <laughs> Billy Morgan told me she practiced, she knew she was going to carry the flag, so she practiced <laughs> with her horse to make yeah. sure she wanted to do it with no, no bridle. Yeah. That's the Tennessee walk horse, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Right here, Bob Adcock in a keen thing. He was reserving amateur riders on walking stallions. Made a great show. A nice horse. And if he's reserved, think about what the winner looked like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that right there is a piece of work, buddy. Yeah. Everything special about it. Bob, just a good guy. He's got a lot of good horses. Real good horse. Right here is honored in Texas. Now he took that one. That was a five-year-old. But that was a that was a tough class. Yeah. A real tough class. Honored in Texas. I like that horse. I really do. Oh yeah, that's a nice horse. Now he gets it done. He gets it done. Bob is another good one. Oh, yeah. He sets a good seat. He gets it done. Right here's the title, the medalist. 
and Eli, yeah, he was reserved winner again. But think about this: he showed two weeks in a row. Oh, yeah, that, that says a lot about the condition of her horse, the durability yeah. of them, and the way they're trained. You're right. That's a pat on the back to the trainer. And here, here's another one. Reserved last week, come back, he's reserved again this week. Two weeks in a row, Joe Pa and Winky Groover. And if you look at him right there in last week, great, both nights. Both nights, both time he showed real good. He's becoming one of these Mr. Automatics too. Right here, Ryder Cup, show pleasure. Now, buddy, this was a class. It was a good class. Yeah, big time. Yeah. A bunch of good horses in there. Yep. Georgia, Florida line took the class with not Blackburn for Robert Dortch. Right there he is. Yep. Charlie Danger, Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams. A line of honor, Lake Weaver, Sharon Pittman. Walking Chick, Mickey McCormick for Nora Alexander. Got to go back, Jeremy Williams, Mike Willingham. I want to say something about that horse. I believe he deserved, not because you're sitting there either. I think he deserved a little bit better than that. That's, a, that's a nice horse. Winky Groover. The White Hawk, John Allen Calloway, and Smoky Mountain Squire, Justin Legate finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna, I'll tell you something else that uh, a lot of people don't think about, but I do. Georgia Florida Lions won this class, but he came back and showed Saturday night in the amateur division. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's two nights in a row this horse showed, not two weeks in a row, two nights in a row. several of these horses that I really, really get to like. Oh, yeah. And especially show pleasure, because they, they have the bridle with no tail brakes. Oh, yeah. Well, now tell everybody while we're watching video, when are you going to show again? It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. I got yeah. something in the workings. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> He must, he must have found the dark horse somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I got something working. <laughs> hey, what, there's some nice horses in that class right there. Oh, there's some real nice horses. Nothing. Yeah. Georgia, Florida. There he is, Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Robert Dort, your Ryder Cup show pleasure winner. He was just full of good ones. And right there yeah. is one of them. Oh, yeah. What about the crowd? Oh, I tell you, they had a bunch of people there Saturday night. Oh, no, it was packed. Put a video out of the crowd. Not Blackburn, I'll tell you what, he can play. Right? Oh, yeah. That crowd Saturday night was great. It was great, yep. Well, I, I guess we better let you do Kaiser commercial again. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. 
I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 6-time world champion in amateur and open competition, 4-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse, coming up. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Saturday night. Now, Saturday night, they had 137 entries. And we I want everybody to know, we finished the week 97% compliance rate. You can't, and that was counting the post, post show. Yeah. And that means they got in and, and got a rub and got violations yeah. coming out. So really and truly, it was better than a 97% if you, if you go by actual number. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go see some video. This right this class right here, Jerry. It was outstanding. Oh, yeah. And I mean outstanding. Harley Quinn took the blue with Beth Collins and the saddle. Congratulations, Beth got married. Okay. This horse is trained by at Cottonwood by Ryan Blackburn. She says, he just suits me because he's real calm. <laughs> that, that's good. Manning was reserved with Taylor Walters for Molly Walters family. Got you Jose and Brittany Baum. She's Salsarita, Lauren Williams. Bye Felicia, Kathy Stewart, Dylan Dirty, Leanne Deaton, Touchline, Carol Shelton, and Madam Charlie, Lauren McGee finished out the ribbon. But that was a tough class, real tough. It didn't get easy, I can tell you that. And Manny and I thought was putting on a good oh, show. Oh yeah. By Felicia. But Beth stole the show. Now she, 
She had Harley Quinn was rocking in a road. Look there, there's my Felicia. Yeah. This is the kind of horse show everybody <coughs> wants to go to. Every time they get out and say, let's go to the horse show, this, this is, is what, what they, they want to go to. Yep. They had a real good show there. Hey, they did, and the crowd was great. It just, it started out a good crowd Thursday night, got bigger Friday night, night and then <coughs> it really got, look there. Yeah. Beth was going. And then Saturday night, it really bloomed up. But I was, I was tickled. They brought in some different things. Tony Edwards down there, he was taking measurements. Women only. <laughs> there he is, Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Amateur ladies, Baird Gildan winner. And she was, she was happy. I'm proud of her. Oh, yeah. She is a veteran, so she is one of my favorite people. <laughs> Here's the amateur 50 and over. Another They're outstanding another class. class. I mean, full of good horses. Yeah. Twisted with honors, and Allison Armstrong took the blue. The Night King, and Jeff Smith was reserved. Maroon 5, Dr. Jim Baum. And Apocalypse, Tina Moss. Code of Honor, Heidi McWilliams. Jack Del Rio, Gordon Ezell. Siesta Levy, Bart McWaters, and record high, Brenda Marmon finished out the ribbons. And that was a way to finish them out. Oh yeah. Because that was a that was a tough class. That was a real tough class. There wasn't no freebies up there for this no. weekend, that's, that's for sure. I'm proud of Allison. Because yeah. she, she loved that horse. She she told me she said I'd love to have that horse. Next thing I knew, she'd done bought oh. that horse. <laughs> there it is. With Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong. He made a good show. Hey, she did, man. She rode her horse. She, she done real good. That's when you and your horse get in sync, and you go out there and, and go to it. Yeah. She's riding. There's no doubt about it. And right here is a special little lad, because this was showcasing the twins. I'm big enough and Maxine Beasley. Oh yeah. And then, <laughs> hey, what more could you ask for? Are these two girls just something else? Country lineman BB Beasley. There's a country lineman. They finished first or second and third. Yeah. Followed each other out of the ring. But I, I I looked up and I saw Maxine come in, and then I looked up and here come Baby, and I said, wait a minute, if, if it wasn't for their jackets, you can't tell them apart. Yeah. Here's your state class. 
And this was a state class. Yeah. I'll tell you, two, three, maybe even four world champions in this class. Oh, yeah. Guarantee you. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly took the blue for the Jacobs family. Honor and remember, and Dan Waddell right there was reserved for Kim Lewis. Walking Mr. Charlie, Jimmy McConnell for Terry and Lisa Smith, and Zaro Jr. Yeah. out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, I mean, and this is just being honest about it. You had four great horses in there that really getting it done. I thought Zaro Jr. was outstanding. Walking Mr. Charlie, and then True, everybody knows what I think about True Blue, he's yeah. a great horse. But it was Zaro Jr. I mean, I watch our horse canter, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I watch the cantering of quarter horses. They don't know what a canter is. Uh, Mr. True Blue and R. M. Kelly for Jake Jacobs family. I want you to look there. Right there is one heck of a horse. You can't beat that, but there was some great horses in there. Good horses in there. a great show. Now, you going to build a cancer show? Yes, sir. How many are you going to take? I think we're going to end up taking about seven all together. Seven? Yes. Oh, I'm going to watch. If you ain't got seven there, I'm going to complain. Okay. <laughs> but I, they're going to have a good show. I know Virginia Stewart, that's her pet peeve is yeah. pet for cancer. And people support that show. It goes for, I mean, it has a fantastic purpose. It really does. It helps people in Bedford County that are in need. And a lot of people don't realize it, but they'll make car payments. They'll, they'll help pay medication. They'll come get you, take you to the doctor's office. It's just so many things yes. that, that, that that organization supports in Bedford County that it deserves the support of the people. And I'm talking about the population. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I guess that's it for today. We had a good show. We had a good show. It's a fun show. We had a good show in yep. Columbia Spring Jubilee. And I believe this weekend we'll come back with another big show. Big show. Cancer. Everyone out there, bring your call. horses and come and show. That's what we want. We want more horses, more people in the stands, everybody cheering. And we'll see everybody next week. Yep. How's that? Yeah. Have a good week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.